Hello guys, uh, Create Tutorials here. And yeah, here I am again. Uh, I'm making another tutorial for you guys. Uh, and that's... Uh, I know I said I wasn't going to do a lot of tutorials, but... Recently I got... I have got so much uh, like... Tutorial requests by PMs, private message on Skype and... Everything, so... It's actually some things that I really can do so this is great I think uh, that you're doing this because that's why I'm doing tutorials now so yeah so people ask me like in Baker's edit how you can do this scope uh, let's do this in HD like you see this scope it's like like sweet wait like it gets blue inside, uh, like you can see the scope in the scope. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's hard to explain, but basically what it is is like the scope, and then it follows, and when it zooms in. But mine, is, mine is purple. So this is basically the effect. I know it's quick, but I think it looks good so yeah so let's go on uh, I'm just gonna uh, drag my clip to, to my new comp and then I'm just gonna find whatever I use so okay here it was so what you want to do is just uh, control D uh, to uh, duplicate your clip and then you want to go where the scope is showing because you want to take a screenshot here uh, but before you do that just go to time or right click time and uh, freeze, freeze frame and then you want to click in the middle so like I got this okay so and then you want to hold control and you want to drag it out to get like a circle of the scope okay that's good so if we move um, like here uh, you can see the scope now so what you want to do is just go to the mass feather and put it to 10 so it gets like a little bit nicer smoother in the edges edges okay so what you want to do is uh, you want to click S and you want to scale it down to <clears throat> uh, where where this fits the scope so about uh, a little bit more okay yeah this is good okay so you can see now uh, but no now we don't have any color correction but we will add it on right now so you want to drag the magic bullet looks to the mask scope layer and uh, you just wanna you just wanna pick a like a, a very random and pretty strong CC nothing like smooth you wanna have a pretty yeah pretty much things on it <laughs> okay and then when you finish you wanna go and type in glow or whatever stylish glow so now you get kind of effect just drag it drag up the glow radius to 50 so now you see it's so glowy now uh, if you want you can go and drag in the trap code also and now you get so much color um, just change it to one color and then you can pick whatever color you want but I'm not going to use this for this tutorial so now you wanna search up looks for the main clip so just pick like a smooth CC like that's pretty good and you see you got this and basically we're done almost now uh, what you can do 
uh, to keyframe all the things, you basically just uh, click on P for position and uh, use move keyframe by keyframe and just drag it to the match every time. Okay, I'm just gonna do this for a few uh, few keyframes, but not all, because then you would sit here in hours. <laughs> okay, I'm just making this fast so I can get out this, this tutorial. And soon it comes a time where you got a scale. So what you wanna do, wait, I'll just, uh, here's the last, I think. No, 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 oh shit. Okay, let's drag this on. Okay, so now you wanna click S, uh, or yeah, S, I mean, for scale. And you wanna keyframe and click U, so now you can see all the keyframes can zoom in if you want and then you wanna click one more keyframe and then now you have to like zoom a bit so let's set this to 30 that's good and go one more one more and I just put it on scale it up a little bit and just so on but I'm I'm just gonna do this pretty quick now show you some other things when I'm done with this if I if I get done with this not sure though okay and that's the last or when it cuts you wanna cut it so there Control Shift D, and then go to the beginning where the first keyframe is. So there, you wanna cut it right there and delete it. So now what you wanna do is just click U, so you can see all the three keyframes. Con um, highlight all of them and go to Keyframe Assistant and DC stuff. And then uh, what you can do if you want, you can take the motion blur on this but yeah maybe uh, you don't need it but okay so now I'm gonna ramp preview this for you and yeah okay so there we go uh, let me just put this on oh wait Okay, there you go. Okay, so I think this is a pretty cool effect. Like, you can use this however you want. Like in Baker's edit, you can follow his. Like, yeah. But uh, this is just a fast tutorial. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this, though. Um, please leave a like and a comment below, and uh, we will see each other in the next tutorial. So, yeah. Aye.